Hello everyone. A few days ago I received an unsolicited envelope in the mail and in it was a request for donations from a hospital foundation. There were a number of things inside, all to make any junk journalist very happy. Part of what I found in there were two envelopes that I'm going to be working on today. Um, it also in there there was a card and some other material, but today I'm going to concentrate on the two envelopes, this one and this one. This one, which is just plain because they sent a card and with a plain envelope in case I wanted to send the card to someone. And this envelope that they sent in which I could put place a donation. So I decided to use these two today to create something for my junk journal. My name is Laura, and I am from the Queen of Mirth. I'm also very grateful to be living here in Vancouver where the weather is great, and I have my grandson to live with me, as well as my cat, and I'm also grateful to be spending this time with you. So let's get started and make some art. Now, as you can see, I have already cut out paper that I'm going to be using for these, this project because I didn't want to make the video too, too terribly long. Um, I'm going to put this aside for now. And this is the junk journal that I'm going to be um, using, that, I, that I'm making these for. It's just, uh, you know, I haven't sewn it together yet and so I can change things around quite a bit, but I've just amassed a a set of interesting papers of different kinds that I found in all kinds of different places. And here we go. So that's what I'll be using or using these for later. Now, first of all, I'm going to take away the papers that I cut out and set them to the side with the exception of this one and it is a uh, kind of it's printed on vellum it was in a a um, thing from Tim Holtz that I bought at Michael's when they had a huge sale so I don't think I paid much for it but I bought it because I like it and I thought that I would just place it here so the first thing I'm going to do is this and the reason I'm doing it first is because I'm going to be using some matte medium to adhere this um, piece of, of paper to the envelope. And, um, and that will take a little bit of time to dry. So I, I just wanted to, to do it with, I, I prefer when adhering um, napkins or vellum transparent paper, onion skin paper, that kind of thing. I prefer to use the matte medium because it sticks the paper down better than anything else I've ever found. Now I have a paintbrush. So it, I use a flat, fairly wide one, and I'd like to do this as quickly as I can. Um, I put the, I first put the, um, the coat of the matte medium right onto the surface of the envelope. And I try to cover every single spot because if I don't, there will be an air bubble where there was no matte medium. And that is not good at all. Now I accidentally put a little bit on, onto here, but I'll fix that. It'll be fine. As long as it's not too much, it will be just fine. And it's Liquitex Professional Matte Medium that I'm using. It's very good. Place this down directly onto the onto the um, envelope, and then 
I, I, I press it down from the middle, working my way out to the edges so I get rid of any air bubbles that are in there. And then to really get rid of them, I'm going to use this. It's not a credit card, it's uh, something that came in the mail um, from one of those companies where you can order food that you make yourself at home. They, they send you the ingredients. Well, they sent me this card saying that I could have $80 off, but I'm not going to use it. So let's make some art with it. Now, it's important to press hard and do it from the middle to the edge, to the edges, radiating outward, and do it quite a bit because we want to eliminate any air bubbles that are in there. I want this to be completely beautifully flat. Okay, so now that I've done that, I'm going to put a, a layer of the matte medium, and we have to work quickly with this job. Um, a, a layer from the middle to the edges of the matte medium over top of the um, musical paper. And the reason for that is rather scientific. When you use, or when you put a liquid on the, on the, which I did, on the envelope, and then put a dry piece of paper on that, um, they, it causes wrinkles in itself because both of the paper you know, both papers, or both layers, are not the same. One is liquid and one is dry. And the liquid, and so some of the liquid will go into or be absorbed by the dry layer, and some won't, and that causes some ripples. So to avoid those ripples, we have to um, do a, a layer of the liquid over top of the dry paper as well. And this is going to make a perfect flat layer, which is what I'm looking for. Now, a little bit of the matte medium has got on the edges, and I want this envelope to be able to open. So I'm going to, maybe I'll insert my card in here to make sure that it is going to open, okay? And it does all the way. So I'm going to leave this to dry now while I do some work on the other envelope. I'm gonna turn this upside down because I don't want what I'm working on to have that medium stuck all over. And I think I better brush and I, I'm going to go to all the trouble of, of really washing this out I, I said dry my brush I mean wash my brush and I'm going to do a, I'm going to follow through and really wash it here and now because I like it to dry flat otherwise if it stays too long in the water the the brush will start to bend and that will destroy my brush. So in the interest of keeping my brush happy, I will dry it flat. Now, this one. I did prepare some paper for this. And I can stick it on now. And this is Art Glitter Glue, which is very good. I've, I've talked about it before. I think that the Scotch brand um, Craft Smart, I think it is, glue is just as good and it costs a lot less. But I happen to have this because I had bought quite a large quantity of it. And, but I don't know that I'm going to buy it again. But you 
can't go wrong with it. I, I mean, I totally think it's great glue. It doesn't have too much water in it, so it, it works very well. pretty, isn't it? Now this one, I'm just going to do like so. I'm going to put this along here, and then this one like this. So here we are. Yeah, we've been having really beautiful weather. Um, and things are very quiet and all around because of the lockdown. I barely go anywhere, which is fine. I don't mind. Oh, just a minute. I wasn't going to do it quite this way. I was going to... Oh, dear. I think I was going to do it like this. Down here. What was I doing? Just a minute. Yes. I think this one was going to go down first. And then this was... Sorry about that, you guys. This one was going to go here like this. And actually... I'm just realizing maybe I want to have a, another pocket there. So I'm going to actually make a different one like this. Very simple to do. Sorry about that, but there's been a change of plan. Not a problem. This is what it's like making journals. We can change, you know, halfway through any anything. You might think of some better way of doing it, whatever it is. And so there will be a change of plans. And, and it, it's just important not to get stressed out and to accept that and the first way we thought was the best it wasn't necessarily the best at all and sometimes we don't realize that till we are working on whatever it is I've never made anything this is the first time I've ever actually made this exact thing so you know I'm just learning as I go basically now this side what on earth is going on here see this seems to have oh just a minute that's sorry 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 Okay, there was a bit of a change of plan, and that's fine. And I'm going to do it a little differently than I had anticipated, but that's okay. As I said, I've never made this exact thing before. I'm just kind of going along, spontaneously creating. And what I had first 
decided to do isn't quite what I'm actually going to do. And I think that's great. That's fine. Art's like that, you know. We don't always have to adhere to our first idea. This one, I, w I was always going to cut this, but my order of doing things has changed. And also the paper I'm using has changed. And the rest of what I'm doing on, the, on this side of the envelope has changed. Okay, here we go. Now that, just a minute. I'm going to get rid of those little outside parts as well. So, so now it's 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 like this. Now th this is going to be fastened to the base. So we'll forget about it for right now. This um, is going to be these two. These two are going to be down here, and I think I'll bring back the bicycles and put them right here. It should fit. Yes. Okay. Here we go. I am happy. It's, things seem to be working out okay. And my original idea was not to have a pocket or a second pocket, but I see now that I want one. And that's what's going to happen. And also, I realized that it was better to cut this part off before I do anything else and not later. Now, I'll stick this on, leaving a little tiny bit at the top so this flap can go back and forth, and so this will be able to fold this way easily without having this paper in the way. This part is going to go here, and I don't want to um, put glue across the whole top at the very top top, because it is going to have to leave this to open as, as a big pocket, or as a pocket. I should say, yeah, it is as a big pocket. Like the, that's the original envelope opening. And I better do it this way because I forgot what I was doing, kind of. I just don't want the very top to close up the whole envelope with this glue. You know, I have noticed lately that there are two beautiful ravens who keep sitting in the tree right in front of my window here. They've been doing it for about maybe a couple of weeks now. And I know they're ravens because they talk like ravens. If any of you know what ravens talk like, they make a very kind of a clattery croak, not like a crow at all. And, oh, I'm so happy about that. I just can't tell you. We used to have ravens around here, but I, they seem to have gone away or got lost or died or something about maybe seven years ago. And I had felt so sad about that because I used to really enjoy seeing them in my neighborhood. And to have these two come back now after these years, I'm just so happy and so grateful. I just, I absolutely love them. Now this is going to be a pocket, so I'm only going to glue it around these edges. I 
I don't know if you can hear there. I can hear crows. Like we always had crows, and nothing against the crows. I mean, I'm fine with them as well, but I'm ecstatic about the ravens. I'm just so happy. You know. And the crows don't go in the tree that the ravens have been going in. They go in all the other trees. I have a number, lots of trees around here, quite a few anyway. So. Yeah, I live in Vancouver, which is quite a city, although right around my house, there are coyotes, skunks, lots of raccoons, and a lot of different kinds of birds. So I consider myself quite blessed in that way. To have some woodland creatures in, in my midst, or in, in our midst. I do have a cat too who goes outside so I don't let him out after dark because I think it's too dangerous. Anyway, here are um, here, here's this envelope, and I have, okay, oh yeah, it's this one. This is a closed. This is open here and open here. So, I'm happy. Now, let's see how our other envelope is doing. It's pretty much, there's not a single wrinkle. Look. I'm very happy with this method. You, it looks like just the paper because it's matte medium, not glossy or semi-glossy. So it looks like there's, it doesn't, you can't see the medium at all. And it's completely flat. Now let's make sure I can actually open this envelope. Because you might remember that a little bit of matte medium got on the end, on the, on the base of the envelope, but no, see, it's this is going through perfectly. Okay, very, very happy, happy, happy. Thank you. And now, I think I'm going to leave this that says thank you, but I'm not sure. I like things that say thank you, but I, but um, I want to cover this. So I cut a piece of I cut cut a. Part of a, an, or I cut an, a floral image, we'll call it, out of an old magazine. And I think it's really beautiful. I hope you can see it. Now see, this is glossy paper, but I don't mind mixing the glossy with the matte. I think it goes well with this, with, with these patterns. So here we go. very thin lines of glue because once again I don't want to have a lot of ripples on my um, on my paper on in my paper or on this I just want it to be nice and flat now I'm gonna use this again just press and I put once again radiating outward from the center in order to eliminate any air bubbles. going to be an envelope that opens so I'm going to make a hole or whatever you want to call it pretty much half now I think to measure from here to here that's where my fingers are here to here 
Ugh, I can't. I can't do it from that position, my friends. Oh, why don't I just measure it with a ruler? Well, I don't know. Because the ruler, it, that ruler, it's hard to see. The, um, okay. You know, that's pretty much right. Amazing that I could do that by just eyeballing it, but it takes, it's just that I've been doing this for years. Um, hmm. I can't. Uh, I guess I can. It's better if I p do the punching this way. Because there are marking lines, I think. thing itself has marks that I can follow for this. Now let's make sure that I haven't screwed up too much here. There. And no. A little bit more over. Okay, that's pretty good. Make sure that it lines up with these little marks on the edge of my machine. Or my hole puncher, I should call it. Okay. There. Okay, now what does it need? It needs to be covered, this hole and then it'll be great. So what do I cover it with? I do not know. Let's see what I have. I think another one of these will be fine. So, what do you think? That's pretty good, isn't it? Now we're just about done. Okay, the way I'm going to do this is like so. I will choose a page like this, maybe even this one, and put this like so and stick it down here and then Stick this one here and have it go around like this. No, it needs this needs a little trimming, I can see though. Not a problem.
So it will be like this. Um, this, and we can put things in here. We can tuck things in here and in here. And it will be affixed this way. So then the whole thing will come up like this and we can I can journal here. So I think I will even stick it in. And to do this, I'm using this particular um, base paper is quite strong. It's a, it's one of the, it's a, it's from a sketchbook, so it's fairly sturdy. Now I have a, a, a gummed uh, what do you call it? A gummed um, envelope lid here or envelope flap. And I don't want to keep it that way, so I'm going to put this over it like that. So I have to just stick this or just cut this here. of glue here because I'm working really fast and I'm just going to flatten them with my finger because I don't want to have them like that. They might, I don't know, I just like to have the glue thin. Okay, here we are. That works. Now this one will also work. It's going to go here, like so. And like I said, I think I'll keep the thank you, just in the spirit of junk journaling and because thank you is a kind of a positive sentiment and I'm thankful for a lot of things. I'm very thankful even to be here with you. I might even make a list here of things that I am thankful for to go with my thank you. I'm not sure, but I might. Anyway, here I'm, I'm done. This is um, what I've created using two envelopes that came in the same piece of ma unsolicited mail to my door. I don't even want to call it junk mail, but Kind of it is. Oh, here I'm, I've been look, uh, looking for my little pin to put down here so my glue doesn't dry out, and so the not so that this nozzle will remain clear. So here we are. Um, this is what a person would see at first, and then we move on into here and. I can tuck things into here if I like, whatever I want, and same within here, and same within here. So that's kind of cool. And I can.
journal on this page. Then, if I flip it over, I see this, which is kind of pretty, and it, um, it actually, it does reinforce the whole thing, and it also covers up the envelope flap that had, flap that had the glue on it. So I'm done for today. Oh, also, I don't have to keep it at this part in, in this journal because I haven't sewn the journal together yet. I can put it anywhere, like here. It depends, and at the end, I'll figure out where things seem to look best. So thank you. Thank you for being with me today. I really appreciate it, and I invite you to come back. Please subscribe to my channel, press the like button if you like the video, and if you have any questions or would like to see something else or whatever, do make a comment in the comment box below. Take good care of yourselves, and thank you for being with me, and come back and see me again soon. Bye.